Hey there, welcome to this financial mathematics video. This time we are having a squiz at profits and discounts. Profits. Firstly, profit is the amount of money gained if you are fortunate enough to um, sell an item for more than it costs. So if you're a, a shop and you uh, sell an item for more than it costs you, you make a profit. So the profit is the selling price minus your cost price. Um, now, hopefully that's positive, and we'll use the term profit. If you sell, uh, if your selling price is less than you co that it cost you, selling price is less than the cost price. You've made a loss, but uh, we won't worry too much about that. Um, we'll just keep that in mind. Percentage profit or loss, you can work out the percentages on this uh, either way here. You put the profit amount or the loss amount over the original cost price, how much the item cost you, and so that we make a fraction out of that and then we turn it into a percent by multiplying by 100%. You change a fraction into a percent by multiplying by 100. So that's the uh, system we'd use if we're asked to find the percentage profit or loss. Alright, so let's, uh, I think it's time for an example here. An item is bought for $800 and fortunately sold for $920. That's a good deal. Nice work if you can get it. So let's have a look. The question asks us to calculate the amount of profit. Now, the profit here is just the difference between those two things. The profit is the selling price minus the cost price. So in this case, we have our profit equaling our selling price was $920 and minusing our cost price, which was $800. And I think you can see pretty pretty clearly there that our profit was the difference between those two. $120 profit was made on that uh, that deal. Nice Nice thing. Okay, so uh, we might also be asked to find the percentage profit. So we'll use our rule for that, percentage profit or loss. But in this case, it's the profit. We'll put that profit amount, which we found from uh, part A of the question, over the cost price, how much the goods cost us. And we'll uh, make a fraction out of that and turn that fraction into a percent by, once again, timesing by 100. So our profit amount was $120 from section A there over the cost price. If you read the question again carefully, the uh, item cost $800 to buy there, so we'll put that un underneath uh, our 120. Now we've made a fraction there, but the question asks us for a percentage. We turn fractions into a percent by timesing by 100 on our calculator, and uh, our percentage profit in this case is 15%. Now if you made a loss, uh, that loss amount would go on the top here and uh, be a very similar thing. We'd put, put that over the cost price, etc. But in this case, the question asks about a profit situation, and we made 15% profit if you uh, bought something for $800 and uh, sold it for $920. So that's just following that box uh, where you, you can calculate percentage profit or loss. All right, so that's that uh, first example run through. A markup is kind of another way of saying that you've increased the price. Let's have a look. A markup is the amount added to the cost price to arrive at the selling price. Now I'm here to tell you at a sh in a shop they buy goods for a certain amount and they mark them up so that they can make a profit. Uh, that's a pretty logical thing for a shopkeeper to do. So if we had to figure out the selling price, that would be the selling price that would be determined by having the cost price that the goods were bought for plus some sort of a markup. But if we wanted to find that markup straight away, we could uh, take the selling price and subtract the cost price because the markup is the difference between the selling price and what it cost really. And we have a percentage system for this as well, very similar to the last one. A percentage markup is just the markup amount over the cost price times by 100%, very similar to the percentage profit calculation we did. So instead of the profit on the top, we've just put the markup. It's kind of a different way of saying the same thing, really. All right, this example, a motorbike is bought for $12,000 and sold for 16800 So you can see that that's a, that's a markup here. The markup amount is just the difference between those two. The system there is the markup will equal the selling price minus the cost price. So let's fill that in. Selling price was $16,800 minus the cost price, which was yet $12,000. So the difference between those two amounts would uh, indicate a markup of $4,800. So uh, if someone was to come in and buy that motorbike from the shop um, with a selling price of $16,800, um, the shopkeeper would make that profit. But at the moment, while the bike is just sitting in the shop there, we'd say it's, it's been marked up by $4,800. 
calculate the percentage markup we're following a very similar system to before uh, we have put the markup amount which we found to be four thousand eight hundred dollars on top of a, uh, of a fraction we're making we put the cost price underneath and multiply that by 100% to turn that into a percentage. So our markup amount we found from part A was $4,800. Our cost price, can you have a look back at the question and see how much the bike cost originally? Yep, $12,000, so that goes underneath. And to turn it into a percent, we multiply by 100. Use your calculator for that one. And uh, the markup has been found to be 40%. Now that sounds like a lot of markup for the shopkeeper to um, to put on this motorbike, but uh, that's not unusual. Markups from shops can be quite uh, large, and uh, otherwise the shopkeeper might go out of business. So it's called um, uh, capitalism, really. <laughs> so um, anyway, the shopkeeper bought the bike for $12,000, and he marked it up by 40% by $4,800 and he's hoping someone's going to come along and buy it. So that's markup. Let's have a look at discount, kind of going the other direction here. A discount occurs when the selling price is marked down to be less than the original selling price. So it was selling for a certain price and the shopkeeper, to encourage people to buy it, marks it down and, uh, and sells it at a discount. So the new price, if we were going to calculate that, is the original price minus that discount. But if we wanted to figure out the discount straight away, we'd take the original price and subtract the new price from it. So it's the difference between the prices is the amount of discount. We also have a percentage discount thing. In this case, we take the discounted amount, so the amount we would save by buying this at the new price, we make a fraction out of that um, and put that over the original price. So that's not what, what it cost, it was what it was originally selling for. That once again is a fraction that's turned into a percent by multiplying by 100 there. Let's have a look at a good example. A, sh a store wants to sell out its old stock at a discount. Some uh, shoes have gone out of uh, fashion, I guess. $200 shoes, they were. Uh, priced at $200, but they're now selling them for $152, so that's been discounted. Find the discount amount. Well, the amount that it's discounted in dollars is just the difference between $200 and uh, the $152 that they're now selling for. So how much has been, how much money has uh, the shopkeeper taken off the price? Well, you obviously do a subtraction there to um, to find that, and the discount amount is $48. So that's just the difference between what it was selling at and what it's selling at now. And once again, we can be asked to find the uh, percentage discount. So we'll follow that system, very similar to the previous ones as well. There's a great similarity between these ideas, just slightly different terms we're using. The percentage discount, we put the discount amount on the top, and we found the discount amount once again from part A. We put that over the original price. So the original price of the shoes was our $200 there. Once we make that fraction, we can turn that into a percent again by multiplying by 100. So our percentage discount, the discount amount was 48. The original price, if you read the question again there, was $200. So once that's a fraction, we turn it into a percent by calculating it, um, multiplying by 100. We end up with a percentage discount of 24%. So roughly a quarter of the price has been taken off roughly, almost, a quarter of the price has been taken off so that instead of selling for $200, the shoes now sell for $152. So I hope you can see that uh, between profits, um, markups and discounts, there's very similar calculations, a few subtractions between prices and uh, to make a percentage out of something, we first look to create a fraction out of the two numbers that were in the question really. So let's recap. Profits. Uh, profit equals selling price minus cost price, just the difference between those two prices. Profit's the amount of money gained when an item is sold more than it cost. A percentage, very similar to the other ones. Percentage profit or loss. You put the profit or loss on top, put it over the cost price to make a fraction. You multiply by 100% to turn it into a percentage. So let's have a look at markup, very similar. Markup is the selling price minus the cost price. So in many ways, uh, the markup is what the shopkeeper adds to the cost price to try and sell it. And if he does sell it, it becomes a profit for him. So that's why there's such a similarity between profits and markup there. Just depends on whether he sold it or not yet. Markup is the amount added to the cost price to arrive at the selling price. And once again, we have a percentage that's extremely uh, similar calculation to our 
percentage profit. The markup amount goes on top. It's made a fraction by using the cost price on the bottom. We turn into a percent by multiplying by 100. Discount very similar as well, but uh, it's the amount that the price goes down. It's still the difference between the two prices. Instead of using the cost price, though, we compare the new price with the original price that it was selling at. So think of the Christmas sales or the Boxing Day sales here. Prices are discounted, uh, and that's how we do that one. A discount occurs when the selling price is marked down to be less than the original selling price. There's a percentage involved in that as well. In this case, we put the discount amount in dollars over the original price to see how much it's been discounted, and we turn that into a percent by multiplying by 100 again. So very similar ideas. Uh, get used to those terms, please, because if you don't understand the terms in a question, it's very hard to know what to do next. But uh, between subtracting between prices and then turning things into fractions and then turning them into percentages, uh, very similar processes there. So hoping that helps. Have a look at the video again if you're not sure. But uh, there we have it. Uh, so uh, welcome. I mean, thank you for joining us, PeterBlakeMath.com. We'll catch you next time for some more financial mathematics. See you later.